I am talking about the George not found allegations. Claims that were made by a very small streamer, an ex of George not founds, I guess, of inappropriate contact. Yes, but me recapping this does nothing. So what I will do is we will listen through. As you can see here, there's no showing of evidence. So I will be having it off screen because she does not show any proof that could hold up in a court of law. Her evidence is her word. The, her word does not hold any merit in my eyes, neither does George's, unless while watching George's, we see proof. Uh, we are going to be going into this. It's annoyingly complex because all of these creators have communities that base themselves around children. And George responded, very serious stream, just to make that clear, all of that. And Amesy, Amesy is someone is, uh, I don't like, I don't like Amesy. They are someone that will lie just to get ahead. They are a liar. I will openly say that. This has been a calculated, very, very fucking calculated clout grab by people like Amesy, by fucking Sneak Snag, by the way. Because I'm going to say this. He openly said that he does not want to be involved. He does not want to be involved. He said that on his stream covering the Wilbur shit. But he keeps getting involved. So he wants to be involved. Like. As far as I can tell. Sneak is not a reliable source, but let's open up Minecraft and then we will begin. Okay, I have her stream loaded up. Hi, mods. Okay. One thing I don't like about this, I don't like about this because look at this. I just rewound it. Like, I don't know, man. It seems like you're so giddy to get this out there. I got to point that out too. Like very, very happy, I'm very like super happy go lucky yeah no if you're out here telling a whole ass story really like bro what, what? like this is so fucking gross and i've said this i'm not doing the whole red pill thing of fuck women fuck women fuck women because no way in hell would i do that but i'm a i'm a guy and and for those that don't know, the whole boyfriend thing that I have is a joke between a friend of mine and I. But, again, that is what it is. And, uh, this makes me kind of glad that I'm staying single in a modern dating world. And, uh, outright, I cannot feel comfortable going out on dates anymore like i'm 26 i i feel unironically uncomfortable with shit like this and i gotta point this out because there are people that go out and falsely accuse that now i know that is not the commonality for everyone that's not a common thing it's very rare in the real world but this this type of person is fucking disgusting. How dare she fucking get joy out of falsely accusing someone? Like, what the fuck? I love you guys. 
Like, no actual fucking look of concern, worry, anything of that. Like, really? Now, I get it. The argument could easily be made that, oh, I just, uh, I'm a very happy person. And I'm fine with that. But this is not the time to be, like, super happy-go-lucky. You're making a fucking accusation. Hi. Probably be a bit hard. I apologize. <laughs> like whole minute. Like nothing of there. Now I get it. You're like, oh, hi chat, hi chat. Oh my god, chat. Yay. I get it. I get it. But this seems very clout driven, and I don't like how it is. It'll probably be a bit hard. Less than three. Because <sighs> it'll probably be a bit hard. Less than three. Okay. God, I'm going to sound like a massive fucking dick. But you were just smiling so happy a, a minute ago. Like, really? I don't... That fucking flip. That fucking flip bothers me so much. Like, you were not raped. You weren't. And that's a little bit of a spoiler, but still. Like, immediately, she just begins fucking doing a whole fucking crying spiel. Bro, what? Um. I won't have, um, the chat on the screen because I can't read it right now. I also turned off... All the alerts so I can talk. I'm sorry. I didn't think I would cry. Bro, you're acting like you were raped. You're acting like you were raped. What the fuck, bro? Holy shit. Um <laughs> funny enough, I wrote I wrote it down. Because I didn't think, <laughs> I thought I wouldn't have anything to say. You know, I thought I'd freeze up when I went live, which I kind of have, but I didn't think I'd cry. God, get to the point. I'm, I'm loading up Minecraft. I'm loading up Minecraft. Jesus fucking Christ. This is absolutely abhorrent. Um, I wrote down what I want to say on stream today. I hope that's okay. Um, because I- Since this is off screen, if there is like a screenshot shown, you will see it because I'll pause my Minecraft and then go in. I get really anxious when talking about important things. Um, and I don't want to miss say anything. And I want- to make sure that I'm saying everything I want to. And in order to do that, I wrote it down last night. Um, because I knew I would be like this. Um, and I knew I wouldn't be able to talk properly. So. I probably won't, I again, apologize. I probably won't look up um, during the stream. I'll be reading on my phone. Um, but I wanted to read this instead of tweet it because I wanted it to come from me. And I want you guys to hear it from me. 
it's really hard for me to talk about, but I feel like it's important for other people to hear it. I'm sorry, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. You are wording it as if you're scared of a guy. Like, motherfucker, you're acting as if it's a fucking rapist! Fuck! Are you kidding me? You're fucking crazy! What the fuck? I, I don't even know. What the shit, dude? Like, are you kidding me? Bro, what? Out of everything. Just bro. I'm gonna start reading. Shit, I, <laughs> I look a fucking mess. Um, okay. I wanna start this by saying I wouldn't be here without Shelby. I was ready to disappear with this secret forever. I never knew that creators were allowed to talk about these kinds of things, and I guess I'm still new to it all. You have over 200,000 followers. Really? I just didn't feel brave enough, and I still don't. But her strength made me feel like it may be okay. Shelby didn't even prove anything. Where's the proof of the bruises? Where's the actual proof of abuse? If you're gonna accuse someone of a fucking crime, you need fucking proof. There's nothing. All of these fucking Minecraft things are fucking spawning up, popping up, being like, oh yeah, I was raped, I was bitten. Oh my God, they called me stinky. Ah! Like, what the fuck? Hey, or like... A little while ago, my story had almost been leaked without <coughs> me knowing. So here it is on my terms. Here is my story. Last year, at the beginning of summer, I was assaulted by a significantly older... I was assaulted? Motherfucker, what? Bro, what? If you have proof, prove it and popular content creator. I was freshly 18. You're an adult. And had just graduated high school. Again, an adult. If you can join the military, you are able to understand how the real world works. A few weeks prior, I was drunk in a hotel room with other people around me when it happened. He was someone I had once watched and he was eight years older than me and far more powerful. Bro, <laughs> why do you word it like he raped you? What is wrong with you, bro? What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, what the fuck? Like, you're f something's wrong with you, bro. I'm so proud of you and your bravery. The full story is quite short. It was at a convention in a hotel room. It was my first convention I was invited to, so I stuck by one of my best friends the entire time. I was nervous but excited about it all and felt really grown up. One night, we were at a house party when we decided to leave. It was me, my best friend, and her other friend. This other friend was romantically talking to a really big creator at the time. Oh my god. You're literally, like, as far as I can see here, you're literally reading shit off your phone, and you're not proving anything. Your word means nothing in the eyes of the law. In the eyes of the law... In the United States and majority of countries, your word alone means jack shit. Because I can go out of my way and just be like, this Katie girl is raping little girls, by the way. Like, are you fucking kidding me? 
Like, are you fucking kidding me? All of you fucking stupid as hell, bro. What the fuck? He was also the best friend of my soon-to-be assaulter. She wanted to go back to his hotel room, but didn't want to go alone, so we went with her. I didn't really mind, as I was up for anything. When we got to the hotel room, it was the creator, the girl was talking to, and his best friend. The two of them and the three of us. Not much happened that first night, just some drinking and talking at a table. The guy's friend had been passing flirts at me the entire night, but because he was the oldest in the room, we assumed he didn't know my age. Late You're an adult! An adult! Are you trying to pass him off as a rapist? As a pedophile? For f just being dorky with a fucking adult, bro? Jesus Christ, you're pathetic. Like, bro. Later that night, when I left, I received Instagram DMs from him. And in my Instagram bio, in bold, was my age, 18, confirming he knew how old I was. Yes, an adult. A few days passed when I found myself in the sim same situation. Us three were at a party when it got boring and whether the girl wanted to leave and go to his room or he asked us who I cannot remember. Once again, I was drunker than the night before and was willing to go anywhere. I was naive and so we went back. I remember a friend seeing me in the lock on the way. They were worried by the way I was acting. Bro, what? You're not telling me anything, lady! Holy fuck, you are... Holy shit, you are aggravating. Like, how do you fuck up this badly? Like, you end up being so stupid. Me, 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 me! I was in the lobby! What the fuck, dude? And asked if I was okay. I was really drunk, and it was an eerie feeling, like they could sense something was wrong. And I wonder what would have happened if I had picked up on it, and if I wasn't drunk, and if I didn't wave it off. But I don't want to dwell on the what-ifs. That night, I went up to his room. Back at the hotel room again were the two friends and us three girls. Why did- Oh my god, like, why did you just not get up? Holy fuck. Okay, women need to fucking just carry a gun or carry a knife. Stop being nice. Fuck. Fuck, it's so annoying. Because I hate this. It ruins shit for real victims. Y'all fucking suck. Girls. At the time, at the time, all of us girls were already really drunk from the party we were coming from. Stumbling and everything. There was more alcohol in the room, and we were encouraged to drink some more as they offered the bottles to us. They said they would join us. Uh, yeah, that's my response. Uh, if you're already drunk, uh, best thing to do, because I've been drunk, but you're still able to say no. Like, bro, you are such a failure of an adult. And drinking and insisted on drinking games and already drunk I obviously complied we sat on the couch and answered questions about each other drinking a bunch and the older guy sat right next to me while playing I confused my nerves for excitement as I had never been around such a big creator before I remember getting drunker and drunker and really tired around this time it was about 3 a.m. Right before the incident, I had answered a question about my age. Again, I'm pointing out the reason why I'm not, like, showing anything is because she's not providing receipts, no screenshots of, like, a party thing, no pictures from a party, nothing. It's all her words so far. And so far, her word ain't fucking worth shit. Because if you're going to fucking accuse someone of fucking rape, have proof. Like, holy fuck, bro. This is just fucking pathetic. 
through playing a drinking game and talking about sex, and I admitted to everyone in the room that I was 18 and that I was a virgin at the time. I remember back now to him answering questions during the game about back when he was 19 and when he was in college, noticing how my future was his past, and I wondered how he felt sitting so close to me. It was a little after that when I resorted to playing games on my phone when it happened. Out of nowhere, I felt him slip his hand under my clothes, sitting next to me on the couch in front of everyone. He disguised it with a simple, are you ticklish? I coughed out a no, still staring at my phone. I was overly aware of the fact that we were in front of other people. The fact that everyone else was- Did he grab your tits? Did he grab your pussy? Did he fucking grab your ass? Most you can get is inappropriate touching. But motherfucker, bro. Did he fucking grab your tits, pussy, or ass? Holy shit. Where's the sexual aspect of it? Sitting around us, watching us, including my best friend, and that his hand was inching further to places I hadn't asked for it to be. He made a game out of my embarrassment where he would touch me in certain areas to make me lose the phone game I was playing. I was scared and I felt sick, either from my alcohol or from his touch. It didn't matter because my mind was a blur. My mind was a blur. I didn't speak or move. I remember being afraid to even breathe. I stayed there for a while, hoping my stillness could make me disappear. I eventually had to stand up after many minutes for it to stop. <sighs> I was scared to leave or make a scene out of the embarrassment. Eventually, later in the night, I found myself alone with him and his friend. Everyone else either passed out or sick. I dread the scenarios that could have played out that night. The what ifs. I was just so annoyed. So you were not raped, got it. You're just a fucking moron that doesn't understand like, hey, I'm uncomfortable. Touch me in a touch me again and I'll cut off your hand. Don't fucking touch me. Like assert yourself. Be a fucking adult. Be a fucking human. Holy shit. Be like, hey, if you're touching me, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Like, don't fucking touch me. You can be direct about it. Like, bro, are you fucking kidding me? This is so fucking disrespectful to actual victims. This shit feels like what happened with Quite. Naive and lucky or not, the night came to an end with just that. The night lasted until 6 a.m. I was still drunk, either from alcohol or tiredness. I went to leave, and the older guy decided to leave with me. We walked to the elevators, where I didn't get on. He then pretended that the elevator was broken, and that he couldn't leave, telling me to get in the elevator to prove it was broken. And then after a few minutes, he ended the night with a, guess I'm going now, leaving with a wounded puppy look. Bro, what? What the fu- Jesus fucking Christ! Am I crazy? Am I fucking crazy? Like, bro, what are you? What? What is this fucking description? This feels like chat GPT wrote it. Like, I just fucking pull up chat GPT and I'm like, hey, uh, accuse someone of rape for me, please. Like, bro, what? Like, <laughs> just what the hell? He proceeded to Instagram message me for a bit after that. Simple flirting or asking about the con next convention I would- But did you- you were uncomfortable? Why did you not block him? Block him! Block him! Because if you block him and he continues going after you, then you can actually have shit to fucking cancel him with. Holy fucking shit! None of you know how to fucking socialize! Jesus Christ! Fucking hell! This fucking pandemic ruined a whole generation of humans. Oh my god. I was going to. 
saying stuff about seeing me there. Simple messages ultimately filtered into nothing. At the time of it all, I convinced myself I was lucky. I was lucky that that had happened to me. I was excited to be around such big creators, to be at that convention in general. I figured that's just how things were, that that was the price I had to pay to be there, that anyone would have loved to be in my position, and that I should have appreciated it. Like, bro, what the fuck? You're literally trying to make it sound like you were raped. You're making it sound like he fucking pinned you down and fucked you until you screamed. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Jesus fucking Christ. The fucking pandemic ruined a whole generation of people. Holy shit, you mentally ill fucking moron. That's not even anywhere close to sexual assault. You can say harassment. That's fine. But you are implying rape, you fucking deluded goober. You fucking deluded fucking gabagool. the first that night it was the first time anyone had ever touched me so an inexperienced 18 year old gets fucking tickled by some youtuber and now she's crying rape jesus fucking christ i will not be surprised if this winds up being some fucking weird bullshit dude what the fuck? I, sh I, sh I assured myself that I was just being sensitive about it all. That it wasn't a big deal. But assuring only can go so far. I felt dirty in a way that I couldn't wash off. I couldn't help the way that my body reacted and flinched. Part of me still wanted to feel cool about it all, to convince myself I was lucky so I didn't have to think about it. I would reimagine the scenario in my head, replaying it again and again, what I could have done, what I could have said instead. But it didn't matter. None of it did, because he never asked, and that fact would never change, no matter how hard I thought about it. I changed after that. I believed life wasn't fair. I was naive and maybe sometimes to a fault, but I could only wish it lasted longer. I miss not knowing. I used to be kind. I'm angry a lot of the time now at that person, at myself, at the fact that a year later, I can feel my heartbeat stop at the sight of him and he probably couldn't even make out my face in a crowd. I can't stop thinking about who I was before at all, who I'll never be again, and how some things you can't undo no matter how hard you try. I never said anything out of pure embarrassment. I was embarrassed it happened, and I was afraid to look weak or to show that it hurt me. But I realize now that I don't think being hurt makes you weak. I think it's strong to feel things that have hurt you. And then oh my god no one cares about the fucking oh yes don't be weak don't be weak this is for all of us speech because you're fucking lying you're lying you two people two whole people pop up with allegations of just words bro real victims got fucking receipts on receipts real victims got evidence Real victims go to the cops. Yeah. I'm saying it now. You are not a real victim of anything. You did not go to police. You did not make a fucking effort to get rid of this alleged fucking predator. You are just as bad as him 
for fucking just doing this bullshit little shit where it's like, oh, I need to make a call out push. Why not go to the cops? Hmm? Why not go to the goddamn fucking cops, dude? Are you fucking me right now? Like, what the fuck? Go to the goddamn police. Like, what is wrong with you? To still choose to feel nonetheless. I was scared to speak out because I thought it was my fault and that I didn't deserve to. I was scared of him and all of those who surrounded him. I was scared of his power. I was scared I was mistaken or remembering wrong. <laughs> I hoped I was remembering wrong. Me, 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 on the chance that I'd see him again. I never thought I'd be strong enough to talk about it or for what may follow. I'm haunted by him everywhere, in usernames, profile pictures, in my own past. I lost the passion I once had for content, for anything really. The association never went away. All the years I spent creating this community felt like a waste because of one night. I didn't even want to log on to this app <laughs> all over something that I never asked for. I can't help but feel angrier all the time, seeing the love I had once had for creation before it happened. I tried to forget it all and ignore it until it resurfaced as, resurfaced as a fresh cut. I remember a moment around October where I made a comment about a certain group abusing power over minors in their DMs saying they had minors in their DMs. It was an absent-minded comment, and I apologized for it, of course. It was a possible subconscious jab out of my own personal resentment. You're 18! You were 18! Holy fuck! <coughs> Unironically, I hope these people stay single forever. I hope they never find love. Because these people take love and fucking weaponize it. Like, they are fucking abusive as shit, dude. My comments filled with people saying that I didn't care about grooming victims and that I thought assault was a joke. And I remember sitting there, reading the comments, scrolling over and over again, heart beating faster. Over half of the comments had him as their profile picture. <laughs> I just wanted to die. <coughs> Shut up. I was embarrassed of myself. I Bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? You can't fucking blame some guy for shit he didn't fucking do. You can't do that to anyone, you fucking crazy bitch. Holy shit, dude. You are, oh my god, you are what's wrong with this fucking generation. You're what's wrong with people, dude. You're fucking lying. You're not giving any evidence. You're, fuck, bro. I was angry, <coughs> and I wondered if I could ever find peace. The idea of will I ever heal, it's scary, but I was tired of withholding my story to protect myself. I had spent so long convincing myself it was my fault, or that I was just a coward. I just wanted to disappear, but I didn't, because I realized that this is a problem bigger than me. It may sound dramatic, but it's- Oh my god, it is dramatic! Literally, until we get, like, someone giving real proof, like, actual evidence, it's so fucking annoying. It's always these fucking people that show up being like, I'm a victim. I'm a victim. Look at me, I'm a victim. Woo, I'm a victim. It's how I felt for over a year. I feel everything very strongly, and I don't want that to change. It was a big deal to me. And I spent too much time downplaying my own experiences. And I still do. I'm still trying to realize that it's okay. My story is about power 
and age and consent. It pisses me off that they can hide behind their power while victims are left helpless, no matter what scenario. It pisses me off that he thought he had the right to do what he did, that he did it even in my silence. Motherfucker, you're acting like you were raped. You weren't raped. Fucking this is a win. No one got raped. 10 out of 10. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Destiny was right. Holy shit. You weren't raped. You're okay. You have got tickled. Fucking learn. Don't be a fucking idiot, you weirdo. Oh my god, the fucking waterworks are so retarded. My biggest fears about speaking out was you guys. I wanted to keep my community safe from what may follow, and also, most importantly, from the ugly truth of life. I promised with you guys to be open and honest all the time. I know, but I didn't want to break up what we had. I wanted to stay strong for you guys. I didn't want this. God, this just reads like really bad fan fiction, and I slowly want to kill myself. To define me or my community. Bro, watch people fucking simping for this chick pop up in my comments being like, You support rape! I'm like, motherfucker, I was raped. Where the fuck will my sympathy be? Because none of you actually give a shit. None of you care about victims. All of you are just bloodthirsty fucking animals. That's all you are. That's all all of you are. Bloodthirsty fucking animals. Just like, oh, I'm able to get him cancelled for no reason. Like, fuck, bro. If you had proof, I'd fucking crucify him right there. I'd fucking rip his head off. Hell yeah. Like, actual fucking consequences that don't get fucking overlooked. But no, you don't want to fucking do anything right. ...or all we've worked for. I didn't want it to all be overshadowed by one event. But once again, this isn't about me. This isn't about drama. It is. This is about everyone who's watching that is like me. This isn't about canceling. This is about real people's lives. I live this every night and every morning. With me, every me, me, touch, me. I feel I re- one sec. I think I I think I know a song. I think I know a song. I know a song. I still hear your the voice when you sleep next to me. I still feel your touch in my dreams. Okay, yeah. That was the bit. That was the fucking bit. <laughs> I gotta make a joke out of it because this is nothing. No cop, no fucking lawyer would look at this and be like, yeah, that's a case. Let's get him. No, you'd be laughed out of a fucking courtroom. You'd be laughed out of a real courtroom, but you're just fucking wanting to do retarded shit, bro. What the fuck? You live that room. It's about connections. One of my best friends, Rue and I, have bonded over similar experiences. And I'm sure there's many others like us. I'm lucky enough to be surrounded by friends who support me. Without them, I wouldn't be half as strong. God damn the fuck. Yeah, yeah, I had to pull out every time we touched by Cascada. I had to. Because every time we touch, I feel the panic. Every time we kiss, I really cry. Because I'm a victim and I don't know why. Because I am going to cry. Because every time we touch, you remind me not to play Minecraft anymore. Cause I don't know what is consent or not. 
Skibbity toilet. Like, I, I gotta fucking make fun of this. Because as far as I'm concerned, none of this fucking matters. Because you haven't given a shred of fucking evidence for me to work with. I'm so gone. So true. Like, playing up the waterworks doesn't work for me. It just doesn't. Like, I, I get some people it'll work, but not me. I'm just like, well, you're an idiot. Get fucked, dork, stink ass. Like, bro. It's fucking dumb. It's just dumb, dude. And I wouldn't be here saying all this. You don't have to believe me or my story. Because I, I don't. know the truth. And so does he. <laughs> He knows and I have creators and friends that also know and some who were there this is about realizations I was once a viewer and now I'm a creator I spent and this is why sometimes this is why I say chat some people need to stay as chatters I'm right. So long looking up to creators that I didn't know, who I had never met, aspiring to be a part of a behind the scenes that I didn't understand yet. Sometimes I wish back to when I was unknowingly looking from the outside. I now have a ruined perception, or rather a truthful one. In this community, a lot of us are told to remain silent and to bite our tongues, and those who speak out against it are often isolated. And that's wrong. It's all wrong. But most, and most importantly, this is about my story and the stories of all the other people who have been silenced, whether it's by their own fear, by power, by this idea that it's not significant enough, because if it's affected you, it's significant enough. This is also about all the asexual people out there who are surrounded by a world where you're wanted for your body. I grew tired of not being able to speak out about my own story. And if it wasn't for Shelby, I would have never realized my silence was- Yeah, if it wasn't for Shelby, you wouldn't ask chat GPT for a fucking prompt on how to fucking lie about shit like this. Outright, dude. You are so fucking gross. It bothers me because you're not giving any proof. You're not saying, oh, here's proof of the Instagram DMs. Oh, here's proof of this, this, and that. All of you, every time you make a fucking allegation, you need to back it up. Was bringing me everything except peace. I experienced firsthand what the power of speaking out can do to a person. I hope this can be of some help to those of you who are like me too. Because we aren't defined by what has happened to us. I want to remind you all that it's also okay. Bro, you got tickled at a party. This is all about being tickled at a party. Jesus Christ. You're wording as, as if you were raped. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? I have never seen a bigger insult to actual victims than this. What is wrong with you? Why are you this way? If you don't speak out, because you don't owe anybody anything, it's your story. It's your story to tell, and it's yours to heal from. And it's only yours. You don't owe anybody anything. That is her outright admission saying that she has zero proof of any of this and it's all just her word. And she is not to be trusted under any circumstances because she is just saying, trust me, bro. Because with her logic, I can outright say this Katie bug lady is a pedophile who rapes babies. What I need to know, that's my story. That's my story. Like, it would be fucking abhorrent. Like, what the fuck, dude? 
Sometimes the most healing treatment in the world is simply realizing that you're not alone in your own experiences. Um, to end, I wanted to share a diary entry I wrote around the time because I feel it was more fresh and this may what? help people who it's still fresh for them or it also just may be clear. Yeah, outright no. Like I, I'm a massive fucking liberal. I'm a massive fucking believer in like advocating for victims. What the fuck is this? All throughout that, we have heard yapping all you have done is fucking yap, dude. You have done nothing but fucking yap, bro. So, I don't care about the rest. There's no proof in it. So, let's go here. Alright, hey guys. I want to start off this stream by saying that this stream is completely demonetized. I have turned off ads. I have turned off donations. However, I cannot turn off subs, but uh, just don't sub. But... Regardless, any sub money that is generated during the stream, I will donate to charity. Don't care about the charity shit. In this stream, I'm going to be talking about some very serious topics, including assault, abuse, and things of sexual nature. So if any of these are triggering topics for you, please be aware of that and be cautious. Recently, a streamer named Katie Bugs went live and told a story involving me about uh, sexual assault. So in this stream, I'm going to be addressing it. I was originally planning on doing this all live. Um, and that's why I originally tweeted saying that I would be live the day that it happened, but I simply did not feel comfortable doing it live and needed to make sure that I had all the details in place and, uh, just wanted to make sure it was all perfect as it happened. So today I sat down, talked straight into this camera, laid out all my thoughts, and then essentially just edited out the blank spaces where I was sitting here thinking about what to say, and then also added some screenshots for context. And I'm going to be playing that video now. Uh, I'm going to be telling the whole story, so it might not seem like everything is completely relevant, but I do need to tell the whole story for it to make sense and to fully inform you guys. So please watch the video in its entirety before forming opinions as this is very important. Finally, before I play the video, do not send hate to Katie. That is not the goal of this and I do not want you guys doing that. So let's play the video. See you later guys. Okay, so this is my side of the story of the two times that I ever interacted with Katie Bugs in real life. So the first time that I met her, it was in Dream's hotel room at VidCon. To give context about Dream's hotel room, essentially it was a bigger room than average. It's not just a bed in a room like a typical hotel room is. Essentially it's, uh, there was a living room, there was a table, and the bedroom was kind of separated from it. And for this reason, we used his hotel room essentially as a place where all of our friends could hang out in. Bitcoin is a four day long event. So we actually used it quite frequently throughout, throughout these four days. And this right here, this right here is like, oh shit, the guy's putting actual effort into proving his side. We had creators, friends in and out of this room throughout the whole event. <laughs> The first night that I actually met Katie, I was with Dream in his hotel room, and Dream was in a group chat with five other people. These five people included Katie Bugs, her best friend, and three other of her friends. Now, these five people, they were at an official VidCon after party, and they wanted to dream they wanted Dream to go meet up with them and hang out with them. Dream actually didn't want to hang out with them, and the reason is because at the time he was wearing his dream mask a lot and he felt uncomfortable wearing it because it's just it's a whole mask on your face so he just didn't want to go to the party particularly he even suggested that they shouldn't come because he was he was a... what if ghosting katie come 
friends are coming up. I don't want them to. I don't want to take them away from the party. Yeah. Assuming that they were, they were having more fun where they were. They reassured him that that wasn't the case. They were bored and they wanted to. Having fun, not really bored. Would it, you be okay if we come over, bro? Actual screenshots. Oh, I'm sorry. The evil victims. The guy is showing proof. This is actual evidence. They want him to come. Because so this fucking Katie bug chick had 30 minutes of fucking yapping. Yap, yap, yap. Now, these five people um, are trying to come to the hotel. But the problem with that is to get into the hotel, you need to have a VidCon creator badge. And only two of the people in the group chat actually had this badge. That was Katie and her best friend. So eventually what happened is Katie and two of her other friends came to Dream's hotel room. This was my first time actually meeting them in real life. I didn't even know who they were before meeting them. And then we essentially just were playing drinking games in the hotel room. We were having fun, talking with each other. Nothing crazy in particular. Now, one thing Katie said retrospectively, looking back at the scenario, is that I was flirting with her throughout the night and that she was uncomfortable with this because of our age difference. At the time, she was 18 and I was 26. She actually assumed I didn't know her age because she had never said it. But then later, I had actually DM'd her on Instagram. And because of this, she says that it is confirmed that I know her age. To give some context to this scenario and to why I didn't know her age, my perspective of things is that I am with people that are over the age of 21 in a scenario where we are doing things that people that are over the age of 21 are doing, like drinking. And also the people that came, came from an event where they had very heavy security. This was an official VidCon after party and with previous VidCon after parties, I even had problems getting into these events. There was one time where they didn't let me in because they couldn't confirm the legitimacy of my UK ID. They said they weren't trained to look at foreign IDs. So they didn't even let me in despite me being 26 at the time. And also since Katie's stream, I've gone back and reviewed texts from the time. And there was actually a picture where it was shown that they had this 21 plus wristband on one of their hat, one of their, one of their wrists. So from my perspective, bro, this is more believable. Perspective, it's a bunch of 21 plus year olds hanging out. I have no reason to think otherwise other than her Instagram bio, but I just didn't see it. But anyway, nothing actually particularly happened at this first night that we were hanging out. Everything was very friendly. We went our separate ways, and that's the end of the first night. And then the second- So far, literally nothing. There's literally nothing that this chick has proven. He's already gotten multiple fucking receipts over her literal nothingness. The second time that we hung out was- the next night after this. So we wake up the next day, we do VidCon stuff. After we're done, that's the final day of VidCon. So VidCon is now technically over, but we have one more night in the hotel before we need to leave the next morning. And actually at this point, I actually had a friend that I had only known online meet up with me for the first time. And the whole time I'd known him, he lived in a different country. He was actually living in Japan. And I had told him I was going to VidCon and he actually just happened to be in California at the same date, so the dates aligned. And we made plans to meet up. Now, he arrived early evening. I think it was around 5, 6 p.m. We were just hanging out in my room. He messaged me. I'm bored. Can you come to my room? Let's hang out, essentially. That's what we did. Me and my friend that I just met, <laughs> physically. I mean, I knew him online. Went up to Dream's room, and we were hanging out. Bro, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and again, the same scenario happens from the night before. They are trying to get him to go out to another party that they were at. And same story, Grim didn't want to go, but was open to them coming here. And again, that is what happened. But this time, their friends were actually all able to get in. I don't know how they did it, but Katie, her best friend, and three other of her friends ended up coming to the room, which had me, Grim, and my online friend that I just met. So eight people total in this room at this point. This night was very similar to the one before. We were just hanging out, playing games, drinking, and just having a good time. So something I actually want to point out before I continue with the rest of the story is the way that she phrases some things in her story. Instead of saying that her and the rest of her friends actually wanted to come to the hotel to hang out with us, she said that one friend was invited by Dream, but she didn't want to go alone. So then 
they decided to go along with her because they were willing to go anywhere. I just think it's important to note already that the story is slightly different. From like, bro, out of all this, this guy is actually proving it more. I don't need to see the rest. Because look at the stupid shit like this, where you see yeah. these fucking my British morons. Or any my friends or anybody else as a scapegoat for your fucking sexual abuse is disgusting. It's fucking disgusting, okay? I, I, my friend cried in my fucking arms about this, and you're on stream denying it all, denying the fucking hurt that you caused to her. You are disgusting fucking people you and all of your abuse sympathizer friends you are all fucking horrible seriously you are so wrong for trying to displace this fucking uh, this fucking sexual assault onto anyone but yourselves it's not sexual assault you fucking freak you are a 26 year old man 27 and you're a fucking retard you're an idiot you're a bum fucking idiot now trying to fucking put the blame on 18 year olds that you don't fucking know what the fuck is wrong My like i'm gonna kind of cap this off here just this one thing because out of all of this we're going to be uh listening listening to this whole thing because what the fuck this is so fucking retarded like she portrayed it as fucking rape but here we'll just listen to destiny because the guy gives the best fucking take on this and no one's believing her because she's a liar that was the only thing that happened this is like this is such a lucky lesson learned like okay i was underage drinking i was already pretty dumb probably shouldn't go back to the hotel with guys alone some guy kind of like felt me up a little bit but nothing happened and then i left that is a lucky scenario that's lucky. Nothing happened. You're good. Like, holy shit. What an easy way to learn a lesson without anything fucking insane happening. Wait, what the fuck? It was the first time anyone had ever touched me. I, sh I, sh I assured myself that I was just being sensitive about it all. That it wasn't a big deal. But assuring only can go so far. I felt dirty in a way that I couldn't wash off. Bro, where, where did she get the, the, what, what rape diary was she reading? Like, oh, I felt dirty in a way that could never come. I could never be clean again. Like, who gave her this language? There's no way she's writing. Like, oh, bro, come on. Really? I couldn't help the way that my body reacted and flinched. Part of me still wanted to feel cool about it all. Given this myself, I was lucky, so I didn't have to think about it. I would reimagine the scenario in my head, replaying it again and again. True! Like, why is this chick acting like she was raped? I could have done what I could have said instead, but it didn't matter. None of it did, because he never asked, and that fact would never change, no matter how hard I thought about it. I changed after that. I believed life wasn't fair, I was naive, and maybe sometimes to a fault, but I could only wish it lasted longer. I miss not knowing. I used to be kind. I'm angry a lot of the time now at that person, at myself, at the fact that a year later, I can feel my heartbeat stop at the sight of him, and he probably couldn't even make out my face in a crowd. I can't stop thinking about who I was before it all, who I'll never be again, and how some things you can't undo no matter how- Who I'll never be again? Where'd you try? I never said anything out of pure embarrassment. I was embarrassed it happened, and I was afraid to look weak. Or just... I hate that I'm getting a little jaded from things like this. The way these happen are a little pattern of public theory allegations, people being weird, then finding out what happened wasn't that serious. It wasn't sure, but like, okay, here, hold on, okay. Got to keep in mind a couple things. Everything in the online world is different than everything in the real world. Okay, all of this is like so much different okay because like in the real world, what will happen is like this story, except like the girl actually gets roofied and actually gets raped and doesn't tell anybody because she feels embarrassed or humiliated about it or she's not even sure if you want it. there's like everything in the real world is way different this is some online like farming communities because they're all full of like 15 year olds and honest to god i'm here's what i'm waiting to happen i'm waiting for a story to come out where like a 19 year old girl comes out crying and just recounts a story where she had fully consensual sex with a 21 year old guy and he still gets canceled for it like I, she's like yeah we hooked up and i said yes and i did consent the whole time but he was two years older than me and then we fucked and i all i can think about is that day where we had consensual sex and i said it the whole time and then like i just can't i don't know what it, my life is ever going to be like again and I, we had like i'm just like what what is he what are you even talking about here show that it hurt me but i realize now that i don't think being hurt makes you weak i think it's strong to feel things that have hurt you and then to still choose to feel nonetheless 
Like, why are we writing? Also, the poetry is so cringe. Why are we writing poetry or as prose? Like, why are we writing slogans and shit after our horrific grope experience? Like, a groping of her thigh? I think it's strong to feel things that have hurt you and then to still choose to feel nonetheless. I was scared to speak out because I thought it was my fault and that I didn't deserve to. I was scared of him and all of those who surrounded him. I was scared of his power. I was scared I was mistaken, remembering wrong. I hoped I was remembering wrong. I was scared to go to any more conventions on the chance that I'd see him again. I never thought I'd be strong enough. To me, the worst thing here was people serving her alcohol under 21. Knowing she was 18 seems lame, but eh, I have no idea. Uh, I have no other idea why her being 18 matters outside of that. L Bro, like, that's the only thing I can get uh, caught up on. The fucking underage drinking. Like, bro, what? Bro, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Bro, this is so fucking retarded. Like, she's Being an idiot. It matters outside of that. Listen, if you're a young person and you're listening to me, here's like the one piece of advice that I can give you, okay? Here's the one thing that I can say that is absolutely true. And if you're 20 or younger, you're going to disagree. And if you're 21 or older, you're going to know what I mean, okay? Oh, boy. There are two types of parties once you get to college, okay? There are 21 and older parties, and then there are lame as fuck parties with creepy dudes. Those are the only two types of parties with alcohol in them, okay? If there is a party where a bunch of young people are drinking, one, nobody cool is at that party because nobody wants to be with a bunch of fucking uh, underclassmen or people that are under 21 that shouldn't even be drinking like number one. And number yeah, I think Wilbur is innocent because there's been no verifiable proof of Wilbur being guilty of anything. The woman never provided proof of the bruises. There's been no proof of any of this biting shit. So, yeah. Two, all the guys are there hitting on the young girls, know that, and they're creepy weirdo losers, okay? I know that feels hard to imagine when you're 18 or 19, and you feel like when you're going to a party, and it's so cool because there's older people there, blah, 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 okay? Those people are usually weirdos. Be careful of that, okay? Just saying. Be aware of that. True. Fucking true. And to kind of end off this clip, uh, Wilbur, George not found, all of these people... Go back and then fucking bow down to these accusers thinking, oh, oh, they give me a new perspective, motherfucker. They lied. Uh, they fucking lied about you. There is no other perspective. They just fucking lied. Like, oh, holy fucking shit. You would think that they're fucking finding a new way to harvest gold. Like... Fucking this Katie chick was never raped, so she lied about pretending to be raped, I guess. Like, I don't give a shit at this point. I finally am just like, look, until I see proof that could hold up in a court of fucking law, none of these people have proof. None of these people told the truth. It needs to be held up in a court of fucking law, dude. This is so fucking retarded. Like, it's so stupid. Fuck, bro. Fuck. Rawr. I think that would be 424. 524. Chillin'. Bing chilling.